a young woman walking along a country road is menaced then attacked by circling motorcyclist a well groomed man in a trench coat watches later she is in the care of some nuns at what appear to be a girl school where we find out her name is valeria she received a medical examination during which her vision blurs she like the young doctor and they kiss while they are kissing the other school girls burst into the room they subdue the doctor much to her amusement and tear his clothes off they do something apparently very painful to him using a pair of forceps the same well groomed trench coated gentleman reappears it may have all been a day dream later the girls give a young nun a hard time by being unruly in the woods the young nun chases valeria who takes pity on her when she collapses under a tree to catch her breath they sit together and talk but are reprimanded by an older nun who seem to have rounded up the other girls the young nun is dismissed and the older nun scold the young woman who proceed to lean against a tree and daydream about a bishop and some nuns who tie her to a saint andrew's cross and lash her with a whip she is rescued by the young nun who seizes the whip and chases away the others and then she is joined by the school girls all wearing corset the daydream is apparently interrupted when the trench coated man inevitably reappears after a graduation ceremony she travel to the villa of her well to do father fitting back into family life she meets a beach comber artist a pair of wacky priest and a cast of other local character and is caught up in their various intrigue many of which managed to result in various state of undress valeria is mostly quiet and wide eyed through all this only barely involved and often observing rather than participating the various love hijinks of her family and friends are not always healthy and many carry an underlying hint of menace including implied love non consent and voyeurism at the end she is seemingly reconciled with the pleasure of nature and with a sense of personal integrity with the beach comber artist Gloria Guida plays a Catholic schoolgirl. In the opening scene, she is walking down the street in a mini skirt, short enough to get any actual Catholic schoolgirl expelled. When she is surrounded and harassed by a gang of bikers. This is apparently only a dream or fantasy. so because she has several other even stranger ones afterward 
she goes in for a check up at school and wind up seducing the doctor but just as he is about to take her temperature the naughty way a group of her fellow school girls burst in and hold the poor guy down while she castrated him the next fantasy if anything is even stranger guida is crucified by evil priest and nuns and briefly flagellated until her school girl forces and another group of nuns come in and rescue her after this interesting scenes in the first 15 minutes however the movie turns into a typical domestic italian comedy melodrama of the era guida returns home to her family which consists of a horny brother a constantly absent father and a ridiculously young and attractive mother who looks she must have given birth to her children at about 10 naturally the mother is freely cheating on the father who is himself sleeping with his secretary her brother meanwhile is diddling the family's improbably lovely maid guida herself is quite a hit with the local boys who twice sneak into her house to watch her undress but she finally decide to give it up to an older local sculptor she meet on the beach This film is directed by Silvio Amadio. The two before this were excellent top-notch chalo, Amuk and Smile Before Death. While the two after this, Quella Eta Malaysia and Pecati di Juvent, both also with Guida were much more staid melodramas. you can actually see about the middle of this movie the point where the director got a lot less interesting rumor has it amado became obsessed in real life with guida and topidos his own career whether that's true or not She was certainly not as good of actress as the ones he worked with earlier like Rosal Baneri, Barbara Bush and Jenny Tamburi. Guida was not a bad actress but she was kind of a limited one. Her acting range could best be described as scantily clad to completely nude to be fair guida still had her best role ahead of her in stuff like avera ventani while amados were definitely behind him this movie is certainly not a total waste of time especially for guida fans but aside from the surreal bizarre fantasy scenes at he beginning it's pretty unremarkable after graduating from a college of nuns valeria return home and find a family situation in disarray her father an entrepreneur is dominated by the business partner Carlo lover of his wife Franca her brother Lorenzo is indebted to the point of paid by friends to spy on him while he sleep with the maid 
कार्लेटा मीन वाइल वेलेरिया मेक फ्रेंड विथ अ मैन हु लिव एज अ हॉमिट इन अ सेक ऑन अ बीच एंड सराउंड हिम सेल्फ विथ वर्क ऑफ आर्ट मेड बाय हिम सेल्फ स्पाटकस बट अबो ऑल विथ जैन लुका अ फ्रेंड ऑफ लॉरेंसो हु सीम टू शो सम इंटरेस्ट इन वेल एरिया टू द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरवेनिंग वेन द गर्ल अग्री टू डू अ पेड स्ट्रिप्ट इज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय हर ब्रदर इन ऑर्डर टू बी एबल टू पे हर डेट लॉरेंसो इज देयर फॉर फोर्स टू लिव फॉर ब्राजील बिकॉज अगेन टू ट्राई टू पे ऑफ हिज डेट Valeria decided to give herself to Gianluca but when she revealed to him that she is a virgin he has second thought and let her go disappointed she accept Carlos invitation to go to her apartment but face with the man's perversion she runs away horrified at this point valeria realizes that the artist is perhaps the only one who truly understand her the two join hand and consume at their love being raised catholic should mean that you are strictly obedient and pure in la minoran it's a whole different scenario you have a young catholic girl who dress provocative and get attacked by some biker not a very good thing while recovering wild thing happen all over the place gloria guida played it well as a school girl tart and all the love encounter this movie is a perfect late night romp it's also funny i would recommend it to anyone who like a taste of italy suffocated by the severe environment of the boarding school the young valeria is prey to erotic dream with motorcyclist sadistic priest and lascivious nun returning to live with her family valeria discovered that even here in an apparently respectable and bourgeois environment hypocrisy and corruption reign the various sentimental adventure are disappointing but despite all the bitterness valeria will finally be able to find a man with whom to build a sincere and clean future of love